When I moved to New York, I had to get a new mattress, and uh, that's a unique shopping experience because you actually lay down to test it out. They're like, what do you think? I think it's weird that you're here. <laughs> if I'm really gonna get a test run, I'm gonna need to get naked and eat Chipotle. <laughs> Do you have New Girl on Hulu? <laughs> and she wanted to show me a different bed than the one I was testing. She goes, let me show you our most popular one. And you'll never guess, but it cost more money. <laughs> and she goes, you'll never want to leave this bed. Yeah, isn't that called depression? <laughs> I've never had a tough time staying in bed. <laughs> and uh, I hate how they sell you on the investment of a mattress. They're like, oh, it's such a good investment. An investment is something that goes up in value. <laughs> I've never heard of anybody making a fortune flipping mattresses. <laughs> But they try to logic you. They're like, you spend eight hours a night. That's a third of your life. Wouldn't you want to invest in a third of your life? Well, you can't apply time to money. Then it'd be like, you spend more time in your socks than in your house. <laughs> huh? Wouldn't you want to drop a hundred grand on some nice socks? <laughs> invest in half your life? Get some socks that massage your feet all day. I was thinking about it, and uh, why aren't there socks that massage our feet all day? That actually does sound like a good investment. I wish I understood investing. I was reading this study. Well, I was reading an article. I saw a headline, to be honest. But, um, it was interesting. A good one. I learned if you own stock, it means you own part of that company. I never knew that about stocks, and I've always loved Disney ever since I was a kid. I was like, I could just own Disney? And I started off small. I bought one Disney stock, $100. I own a Disney. I do. Now, <laughs> the company's worth $150 billion, so I realize I'm not a majority owner. <laughs> But I still feel that pride, you know? Somebody was like, I love Beauty and the Beast. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I can't take all the credit, you know? <laughs> Part of being an owner is knowing when to step back. <laughs> hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips and watch my whole special. It's pretty great.